265 pounds. Isaiah Martinez going for his third Big Ten championship. He's a junior, and Logan Massa is a freshman. So, Logan Massa in the finals for the first time, and Imar, a two-time NCAA champion, a two-time Big Ten, came from the number one spot. Massa upset last year's uh, or, uh, number three, Jordan, in the semifinals. Jordan yeah, Tim, you look at this weight class, and you have the four top guys in the country, right? With Massa, he was able to hold his seat, won an exciting uh, match against uh, Isaiah Jordan. So yeah, Isaac Jordan, and uh, you know, you take a look at this guy from Illinois, the two-time national champion, and when he has that left-handed underhook in there, which he does right now against Massa, Massa's got a little bit of better head position. He just lives off this, and he has just become just a fantastic wrestler. Look for him to go ahead and really get on the offense here and stalk. That's it. The thing about I've been impressed about with Massa in his career, short career so far as a freshman, he can finish. I mean, he, he actually he gets in on those legs, and I, he, he's a 90% finisher. So if he does get to even Martinez's leg, he's, he's got a great shot at finishing. Likes to come out the back door, can go both directions. Isaiah Martinez, the junior. Two-time NCAA champion, twice Big Ten championship. His only loss in his college career came to Jason Nolf in the dual meet, who just won his first Big Ten championship. Imar avenged the, that loss earlier in the year, last year, both in the Big Ten and NCAA championships. In the dual meet, Isaiah beat Massa 3-1, to one, and Massa really wasn't able to get in on Isaiah. Well, the thing about it is is that you can see the adjustments that are being made here right now, but Martinez is able to get to that underhook. It just, just basically horsed Massa over. Now he's got him in deep trouble. Holy cow! Good job by Massa bridging off of his back there, but now he's really putting the power on. And you can get a fall the mat, but it's going to be a four-point near fall. Two points and four. Isaiah Martinez, he can do it all and then some, and he just showed the then some. All right, you take a look at that left-handed underhook. He just uh, horsed him right here, came in to try to kick it, caught Massa trying to take it back right here. I thought just Massa did a great job of competing and getting off his back because that's a lot of horsepower on you hard. Stayed off his back there, and now he's in a world of hurt here, trying to climb a big mountain down six to one against the national champ. Imar stalking, taking territory. You know, uh, looking for him. To, what does he do? Because Massa knows what we know, all right? He, he understands that I don't want to give out that underhook to my right hand. And I saw earlier in the match where he did a nice job of lowering his level and getting out of that position. Now is a great opportunity for, for uh, Martinez to go to the other side. And, you know, you've got Mark Perry Jr. and Jeremy Hunter over there. They know the drill. There's tactical, good coaching staff right there, as you're going to see with uh, Jim Heffernan, one of the more technical wrestlers that in his era. Logan Massa, a freshman, ranked number two in the country. So these are the number one and two seeds in the uh, in the tournament, but they're also the number one and two ranked wrestlers in the international rankings. Uh, top two in the country going at it for a Big Ten championship. The only loss this season for my, uh, Massa was against Imar in the dual meet, three to one. Keep working, keep working. Massa able to go ahead and get his head in that, le that left shoulder of Martinez where he likes to live off that underhook. Massa's older brother, Taylor Massa, was an NCAA qualifier for Michigan. From St. John's, Michigan, St. John's High School. His dad, Roger, had a lot to do with his development, coached him. Set. Cover on. Isaiah Martinez from Lamore, Cover. California, Lamore High School. Easy. His mom, Yovana, is watching from California. Greetings, and so far, you're having a good time, Yovana. A uh, big two-point takedown and four-point near fall for your son. Out in front now, 62, giving the escape in the beginning of the second period to Massa. And Massa, you know, you can just set sense right now. He's, he knows that he's under the gun right now. He's looking for his shot right there. Going to reshoot, come back through. There's a headgear problem there. Martinez's headgear came out. 
but you can sense that NASA's changing gears in this match. He's looking for the, his offense. A good look at Isaiah Martinez, the 2016 Wrestler of the Championships last year for the Big Ten, and also the Dyke Edelman Male Athlete of the Year for Illinois, their top athlete in all of the university athletics uh, at, uh, at Illinois, this champion, Isaiah Martinez. Nassau just cannot get through that of uh, that underhook. He, he's not alone. Not, not many people have been able to do it. We just saw last year NCAA finals were in 157 when Jason Nolf and he were going at it. That was the key takedown was off that left-handed underhook. And he either gets to it or else he comes to the collar tie and gets to it. And then after that, it's all, you know, a lot of horsepower. Jacking it up to get to a leg. Right there. There's one direction. He's got the combination of the horsepower and the quickness, doesn't yeah, he? he does. Started his career with 54 straight wins. He was the only, he was the undefeated as a freshman NCAA in the first one since K.O. Sanders, Penn State's head coach. First time a freshman went undefeated since Kale Sanderson did it his freshman year at Iowa State. You know, it, you take a look at this match, it's been one move, a couple of escapes there by Massa. One big move. I've been impressed. Since that match you're talking about with uh, Noel last year, how um, Imar has uh, varied his attacks. He's able to go to both sides now where he wasn't at that time last year. Well, I, I, what I just, he, he just, you remember those great matches with he and uh, uh, Dylan Ness and James Green? And, you know, you're talking about top shelf, you know, college wrestlers. And, of course, James Green went on to become a... A, a medalist in, in, uh, in the world. It's that uh, he, they they were just weren't able to deal with that 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 just horsepower and anticipation. And sometimes you know it's a different animal when, you, when you've won that championship. And now you've got guys that everybody's scouting you. Everybody knows where you like to be. And you kind of got to break through that. And there's a couple different ways that a guy that's strong and physical like Martinez can is. It's just use horsepower, which he's got an abundance of, hold position, hold position here. or go another direction. A minute and a half here. Left in regulation. Martinez out in front 6-2 six six and the strength of that six-point move in the first period. And Martinez having a difficult time with this uh, cross-body ride. Now he's got... He's gotten cleared out of there, but Massa coming back in with the spiral ride. Ball ride up there, so half Nelson. Ripped up the claw, he has left his right arm up on the shoulder, and he's able to go ahead and get a warning on Martinez. So warning Starling on Imar. There's a look at Joe McFarland in the back background, longtime head coach of Michigan. Nice team this year, and it's going to be even better next year, Jim. It really is, and he's really building a... Nice, solid squad that will be able to compete for a championship. But this guy's going to be a part of it. He's worked himself back into this match. Now he's able to get on a leg. And here's what I was talking about. That's his takedown right there. This guy, this freshman, is that is good at coming out the back door on that single leg nice finish job. I've seen yeah. all year. Logan Massa, the freshman, okay, tightening the match. He's going 32 seconds left in regulation. It's 7-4. to four. No riding time. And you know what? You can... Boy, boy, can you build off of that in practice here for the next week and a half before the national tournament. You just went out there and took down the national champion. It's 8-4 match, and you gave up a big move. You hunted him down. You got a stall warning on him. And you competed for the whole seven minutes. After, you know, could have hung it up after that uh, no doubt. doubt. No and, doubt. And, you know, that uh, fall that wasn't a fall because of the scramble by NASA. And Penn State picks up another team point in the match for third and fourth where Vincenzo Joseph beats Isaac Jordan. Take down there for Martinez. Too much horsepower. Yep, two more takedown for uh, uh, Martinez. And no back point, so 10 to 4 the final score. And Isaiah Martinez, a three-time 
Big Ten champion from Illinois, only a junior. They all have a chance next year to become one of the few four-timers in the history of the conference.